Hello everyone, I'm Rick, your host today. I'm a tech enthusiast, YouTuber, and the new host on IoT Connect. Today I will be introducing Avantech's WisePass device on IoT device operation management software. In recent years, industries have focused on transitioning from comprehensive IoT to industrial IoT. However, in 2018, the focus shifted toward the convergence of artificial intelligence and IoT together into what is known as AIoT. Indeed, many companies have already begun integrating IoT-related technologies into their devices and workflow, and have even adopted new business models. According to a report by a well-known market research institute, in 2018, over 10 billion IoT devices, excluding PCs, mobile phones, and tablets, were connected to the cloud. So with the Internet of Things continuing as a major trend, the number of connected devices is predicted to reach over 64 billion by 2025. Advantech's WisePass device on is a ready-to-use remote management software that provides real-time device control, IoT device status monitoring, and data visualization functions for industrial IoT applications. It enables a large number of devices to be rapidly brought online and conveniently managed, and supports over-the-air software updates and configuration for field devices at scale. DeviceOn is aimed at equipment monitoring, maintenance, and management and is suitable for various vertical applications. Nearly every industry sector employs a wide range of machines and devices. For example, in the retail industry, POS machines, kiosks, and digital signage systems are commonly deployed. And in the semiconductor and equipment manufacturing sector, control process IPCs have become crucial equipment, much like vehicle management systems in the transportation sector. Meanwhile, in smart cities, Numerous industrial devices and automation equipment are used to provide important applications and services. In all of these sectors, in order to ensure reliable operations and minimal downtime, a device management solution is required for monitoring, controlling, and managing the wide variety of distributed machines. Advantech's WisePass device on is a valuable tool for operations management and provides the following key functions. Securely bringing automated devices online remote device monitoring and control, over-the-air software updates, and automated alert notifications. Let's have a look at the first one now. You'll need to grab the Wise Agent Installer version 1.2.7 or higher, or the Advantech bundle image, which will also install Wise Agent. Open Wise Agent and click Yes to connect your device to DeviceOn automatically. Click on the QR code or use a mobile device to enter the DeviceOn console. In the WisePass console, you can also allow your device to connect to the cloud automatically, and there's a six-month free trial to get you started. You'll need to redeem or subscribe to DeviceOn from the WisePass marketplace to host a DeviceOn service by yourself. Log in to the DeviceOn website with your email account and password. Click on the device add icon to get the credential, URL, and IoT key which you can paste in Notepad temporarily. In the advanced option on Wise Agent, select Connect to your own service. Enter your connection information, the credential URL and IoT key here. Then click Save. It will take a moment or two to establish the connection. We'll show you how to control and remotely monitor your device. First, log in to the DeviceOn website with your email and password. On the left menu, click on Device, then in the top bar, click on Device Monitoring. This shows us network speed, software processes, and disk storage. Clicking on Network, we can check status and usage. Software will list all the processes currently running. Down on the main window is network monitoring, where you'll be able to see the traffic flowing through the connection. At the top right, we'll click on remote control and several options will load. First is screenshot, use it for saving information or troubleshooting issues. Terminal brings up a terminal window where you can run various commands such as ping to troubleshoot. 
Remote Desktop launches the onboard VNC server, which takes a minute to connect. Other options on the main page include controls for volume, brightness, function keys, touchscreen and gestures, USB drives, watchdog, and UWF protection, and more. Next, let's set an action to be a one-click operation from the main menu. First, log into WisePass, and then go to the setting menu. Top left, click the plus icon to add an action. First, we'll name it, then select the action we want, which will be to reboot. Click next, and then we'll choose the user group, demo, then next, and then confirm to finalize the addition. Success, then click the pin to home and close the window. Going back to device, we'll copy our agent ID from the device. Then to setting and provision, we'll choose the power setting to switch to agent mode. Here we'll paste our agent ID, choose the group, and continue. With that done, we can go to overview, and now we have our one-click action. Rebooting the device requires us to confirm our action. Going to the device tab on the menu, we can see the arc unit has a message that it's restarting. It's straightforward to do over the air software updates, so let's take a look. You can update a single host or group. For this example, we'll show the single host update with an installation of Notepad++ or NPP. In overview, here are some ideas for actions up top. Choose the OTA tab on the left menu. We click on the plus to add new storage. Clicking on the storage drop-down menu, we'll choose the Azure blob, and we'll type in a name for it. After that, enter in the account name and access key. Hit save and confirm. Now, if we go up to the top and click on package, we'll get a new screen. Click on the tool icon. Our new screen is the package toolkit. We can enter in the information here, which we'll know when we select the installer. Here it's been downloaded already in the OTA demo folder. The package type is NPP, and the version that we have is 7.5.6. Architecture will be 32, 64-bit, or ARM. We'll pick 64-bit, versions 7, 8, and 10. Click browser to locate the folder containing the installer. For deploy file, choose the bat file, and the storage device is our newly named Azure One. Here's a sample bat silent install we made for Notepad++. You can adapt it to match the program you need to install, and you can pause the video to copy it. We'll try to have a link to the code in the video description. We'll continue and generate the toolkit and we upload it successfully. Now we can see our freshly uploaded installer. Clicking on Upgrade, we'll select our group, Demo. Before we proceed, we're using Remote Desktop to log into the Azure unit. Checking the menu, there is no Notepad++ install. Also, there's no folder in Program Files, and checking installed programs, it's not here either. Back to device on. Before we click on upgrade, if you click on the monitor, you'll see your different groups. Here you can choose to upgrade each group. We'll go back to our demo group and click upgrade. Select the MPP installer and then confirm. Going right back into our demo group, you can see it rolling out the installer. Then it completes the install. Back in Remote Desktop, we'll refresh our programs list and our new program has been installed, ready to use. It's also in the Programs Files folder and has been installed properly in the Windows menu. Launch it and away you go. Now the last area we'll look at is Automated Notification. After login, go to Account, then Management. Click the pencil icon to edit, 
then click to edit the person. Here, you can enable email, SMS, WeChat, LINE, and WhatsApp notifications. Save and continue. Click on setting, then select notification top right. Each option is a drop down field, and here we have Gmail set up. Turn on and save, and there's a test function. WhatsApp uses Wassinger, and you'll need a token. Turn on and save. We'll go into event alerts and under type, choose operation. Here we'll test notifications on login, logout, successes and failures. And then we're gonna save our progress. Launching WhatsApp, we'll test functionality by logging out and logging in again. Since we have it set to notify on these events, a message pops up. And in the message, it tells us of our successful logout. And refreshing Outlook, our notifications show up here also. For more information about our services and products, please contact us. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let us know if you have any questions in the comments. You can also experience device on and more by scanning this QR code. To stay up to date with our latest videos, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.